What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. As you guys know, driving during my favorite time. Sun setting, everything's cooling down, night air's coming in. Unbelievable time of the day to drive. I got a few things here first before this video gets started. First thing is I got a family friend who's a country artist. If you guys like country music, you will like his stuff. Uh, he's got a album release concert coming here in October. So it would be super, super awesome if you guys, you know, if you like country music, head over to his page follow him, uh, like a couple of his photos, and you know, comment on his photos, letting him know that I sent you there. That'd be super, super neat, uh, especially with his album release concert coming up super, super soon. Uh, here's his Instagram, and I will also put a link to it in the description below. So if you guys could go, please, take a look and check that out. A second shout out, you guys don't know JW, me and him have been talking on Instagram a lot. Super, super nice dude, and super cool Duramax. So if you guys wanna go take a look at him, he's got an Instagram and a YouTube. So both of those links will be in the top of the description below as well. On to the most asked question I get about both of my vehicles. This is my 2017 Ram 2500. I also have a 2016 Volkswagen Jetta. As you guys know, Both of my vehicles, and for a matter of fact, my last four vehicles have been tinted with 5%. All of my vehicles ever have been tinted illegally. And that's the question I get, and I get quite often. I'm gonna help you guys out here in between mods coming for this truck. A little classic sit down, informational help video for you guys. So, like I said, this truck has 5%. You can't really tell right now because the sun is shining through the windshield. I'll show you guys from the other side. So don't worry about my dirty windows. I need to clean those. But the point of this video is 5%. That is 5% tint on the side windows. I obviously painted them black. It brings the truck together. It makes it look super, super good. But the question I get is, how do you not get tickets? How do you pass inspection? Pretty much every question that involves, how do I get away with 5% tint? Now, if you want me to be 150% honest, there's a couple reasons why I do, and there's also a couple strategic reasons why I do. First thing, living in an area with no inspection. So there's no, you know, vehicle inspection yearly. Some states like Pennsylvania, New York, Ohio, there is no inspection. That's the 100% how I pass inspection because there is none. Next thing that I kind of get away with 5% tint is because you live in an area and you know drive through areas that aren't very strict on tint laws. You know if you if you work in an area, live in an area, drive through areas daily to get wherever you need to go where cities are known for giving out giving out tint tickets, yeah, you're going to have a bad time. There's a couple of factual reasons why I can get away with 5% illegal or 20 or 35 because all those are legal for that matter. Illegal 10. Next thing is my strategic ways of getting away with this. A lot of you guys ask the simple, simple question. Why are the back windows on your vehicles only tinted 20%? As you can see, you can see right in because the windshield, there's no light. Even in my Jetta with the tinted windshield, you can see in the back of the car. Now, a lot of you guys, I get that question all the time. Why is only the back of your car and the back of your truck tinted 20%? Strategic, strategy. So if someone's driving behind you, the car, truck, whatever, looks factory tinted. Cars come from the factory most of the time with 20% on the back half, just like this truck. So I've got a second layer of 20% on that window to reach about 5% and I've got 5% straight up on the front. I have not even touched my back window. It's factory 20 and I left it. And you can see right through it. So that's what I'm saying, driving behind it, the truck looks factory tinted. So if there's law enforcement behind you or anybody that could you know, tip you off for having illegal tint, the first thing they're gonna notice is if your window is pitch black. Uh, you put 5% on your back window, you'll see 100% that you could tell that window is black. Looks looks super, super cool, but it's a dead giveaway. Your vehicle is tinted illegally because they're gonna look at the back window, they're gonna get to the lane next to you and drive right past. So that's why my back windows on both of my truck and my car are tinted 20%. And one of the most key things to realize and understand about getting away with 5% tint or illegal tint in that matter is to understand you are driving around with illegal tint. If you're driving around like you ain't doing nothing wrong, you don't know all of that. There's the first mistake. So driving down the street, you know, you pull up, stoplight, officer's here, you're here. He looks over, oh, nice truck. Oh, look at those windows. Those are pretty 
dark. Most of the time in the summer, spring, fall even, and sometimes winter when it's not snowing, my windows are almost all the way down just because I like the fresh air. So that helps out a ton. At night, you can't really tell your windows are tinted too dark. It's dark outside, it's dark in the cab. So the windows, you can't really tell. It's a daytime thing. If you pull up next to an officer or you're driving past one, you see him doing radar on the side of the road, side of the highway, whatever, roll them down. It's simple. All you have to do is roll the front two down, not even all four. Roll the front two down. Now, this is not me saying, oh, go tint your vehicle illegally. Do this, man. You're going to get away with it. Chances are you probably won't. There's a high probability you tint your, you know, you tint your windows illegally, you will be getting pulled over and you will get a fix-it ticket and then a regular ticket. It helps to live in an area where there's no inspection. It helps to live in an area where tint really isn't a main focus of what officers pull people over for. All things aside, having clean, non-dinged up, non-paint peeling, non-bumper falling off, zip tie, duct tape vehicles also helped with 5% tint. I know a lot of people out there who you know, they don't really care what they drive. They're not car people. They just want to get from point A to point B. They spent 500 bucks at who at the, at the corner lot and bought a car that's been lasting them years, which is 100% okay. Reality is, I don't want to use the word targeted. If you have 5% tint on one of those vehicles, it's kind of a little more suspicious in, um, I guess, different people's eyes. Now, after all precautions have been taken, the chance of you getting pulled over is extremely, extremely high. Remember, like I said, you are driving with illegal tint. You're not Superman. If someone sees it, you will get pulled over. There's no escaping it, just like Pennsylvania. There's no escaping tires that stick out. This is one of those things where it's, you gotta pay to play. So if you get pulled over, the officer stops you. If it's at night, roll all the windows down, turn the lights on inside, you know, make it as safe as possible for the approaching officer. Don't leave your windows up blacked out. He comes to the window and then you gotta roll them down because that's just gonna cause a whole lot of problems. When he pulls you over, roll the windows down, turn the lights on at night and you'll have a much better experience. Now, a couple of you guys are gonna ask about windshield tint. Obviously, this truck has no windshield tint on it yet. I don't know if I'm gonna tint the windshield on this one. I might, I might not. 50% most of the time, you will not get a, you won't even get a glance. Uh, with 50% tint on the windshield of your vehicle. You probably won't even get a glance because, you know, driving down the road with the sun rays reflecting, it's almost hard to tell your windshield is tinted. You throw 35, 20, and the dumbest thing you could do, 5% on your windshield, you will more than likely get pulled over because that is completely uh, unsafe and not cool at all. Windshield tint is, like I said, it's a little bit of a different story because 50% you really can't notice driving down the road facing the other person uh, just because the way the sun hits your windshield. But at 35, 20, and 5% on the front, it's a dead giveaway. Your windshield's tinted and you will more than likely have problems. So guys, I hope that helped you guys out answering some questions about how 5% tint happens, how I get away, and how I haven't got tickets with the illegal tint on both of my vehicles. Like I said, guys, don't play dumb. Be smart and, you know, acknowledge that this is not within legal limits, which it is not in most states, whether it's 35, 20, 5, or any other combo, less than 50 in most states is completely illegal. States with, states with inspections, if you really want to get away with it, you're going to have to tint and remove tint each, you know, each cycle of inspection. That's the simplest answer I have from you. Uh, it's going to be costly, but if that's what you want, that's what you're going to have to deal with. I hope you guys enjoyed this upload. We've got mods coming very very soon and i'm going to talk about this in another video but the way the truck sits now just might not be how it sits in the spring but trust me it will not disappoint you guys so i want to say thank you guys for watching if these tips helped you out uh like this video share this video and if you haven't been here before please get down there and click subscribe stay tuned for the next video guys and we got mods coming for the truck and they'll be coming for a long long time this build is far far from over. I'll say thank you guys for the support and take care. See you in the next one.